just to try this idea out, this rocket stove idea that we started on yesterday. Built the uh, kind of YouTube here, as you can see. There's lots and lots of holes in the in the YouTube. I put this kind of insulation vermiculite board on. The flames are going up now, which they shouldn't be. They should be all going up up this one now. But there is a good I'm getting a good draft in there coming up. There's not much smoke. Maybe uh, we create more a draft from the top and take away the close the sides up with clay. That should stop the smoke coming out there. The timber stack. Okay. Very clean combustion at the other end though. I thought I'd uh, put this clip in, in between somewhere, I'll let you know on the film where it is. So I'm going to demolish this now, just to show how it, how it's, how it's the construction of it really. Okay, put that away. I've got my tape measure here. Okay, so this, these logs here, just to hold this in place here. I'll show you real quick. This is a stainless steel chimney, uh, insulated pipe that was lying around. This is like a T-junction here, so this part you don't need, you could use it to clean out, but I just blocked it up with some concrete here. Okay, and here I just used, these happen to be fire bricks I reclaimed from somewhere. This is the clay I filled the gaps with it up later. Bricks off here. You can see this, this this diameter here is not not real big. It's, uh, it's uh, 14 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches. Okay, so here's all the bricks. Here's the clay that I used to seal it with. You can hear the. Uh, the vermiculite boards, the kind of insulation boards. Right, I think they're three centimeters. Four centimeters there. I got that from somebody. Down here you see, I've made a insulated place where the fire can burn from the bottom as well. I put these bricks here. This is the vermiculite here. It's Press them down with the heat a bit. So here you had a nice hot fire, and I went into this insulated pipe in here, which is can easily be seen now how simple it actually was. I built it as, as I was going along here, these sections, pipe sections here. These are a bit expensive, you're not likely to have these lying around. So I don't know how necessary it is to have. These uh, this part of the insulator, I have a clip here, it comes off in here, and that's a T junction. It's a dismantle. Okay. Okay. We'll put another chimney thing on there. It doesn't look like there's gas coming out there, but it's pretty hot. You can't see it. So the ring still. I think we close these side holes up here. These side holes here. We close all that up. We should direct it all up the chimney. And hopefully it'll be cleaned up. Okay, so we cleared up. Uh, sealed up most of the uh, the gaps. And it's drawing much better now. There's a yeah, you can hear is a fairly fast pierce. A draft going through there. I put this up part of the chimney up here. Let me get some serious heat without any smoke whatsoever. It's pretty hot up here. Okay, it is from the from a back view. Well, I just added some more wood. I'm not even too sure how dry it is, but there's absolutely no smoke coming off. There's a bit of uh, steam coming off from the clay only. 
Otherwise we've got absolutely no smoke whatsoever. And when you look up in the trees, against the black background, the dark background, there's, there's a fierce amount of heat coming out of there, but no smoke. And this is working better than I hoped. Let's have a look down in the fire chamber here. Bits of smoke, which is steam, uh, is coming from the from the wet clay. Okay, with the extension chimney off, it's still drawing pretty good. Now I tried putting a barrel on it, but the uh, started to smoke out the fire fire chamber a bit, and now it's headed down. What we see coming off there is. Some smoke, got a lot of steam too. And out the exhaust, we have no no smoke really. Okay, it took me a while to download, so it's a bit of time delay. I got the meantime, I got the the walk on there, doing a sauté a potato with onions, and Angelina, and we had to do. And put it at the top here. Pretty much at the right temperature. I had to put the other the other chimney stack on to keep the uh, to keep the draft going. Normally, the, you'd have it lowered down, and then the chimney would provide the draft. Here, I wooden. Beginning a pretty good draw. You can hear it. No smoke coming out of the of the fire thing or out of the uh, chimney. So we've got a smokeless smokeless system here. Really, not the ideal thing to climb up to the ladder to cook your food, but I guess that can all be modified. Okay, we can take some uh, temperature things here because I've got this new thermometer. <coughs> Yeah, it works on the video here. Yeah, you see it. So it's got a laser on it. You can see the laser, can you? Yeah. Okay, we've got 20, 201 degrees there. 115 on the walk. 120 there. The pipe is 59 there. Further down we've got 28. I'm not too sure whether it works on glossy surfaces that well. Until the temperature, we can take the temperature here. Oh, but that's not good. Well, it's insulated, so it's 82 there. That's an insulated thing. As I said before, we've got this all in the, the fire chamber itself is sort of vermiculite board line, so it's creating a nice hot fire. Okay. okay, the temperature is not too bad here. It's enough for this, uh, it's not enough for a stir fry, but it's good enough for saute uh, potatoes. And while we're up here, we can look down on the fire in the chimney stack. Now, this thing below it is a uh, there's a thing to start your barbecue with, to start the charcoal with. It's got these holes in it. It keeps all the heat in, but I've adapted this. Now the exhaust is coming out of these holes here, which you can just get a little bit hot. Okay, that's it. So now I took the wok off and uh, added a four inch spacer and put an upside down barrel on top of the chimney stack. Let's just have a look in there. In the wood chamber here, you see we have a, and here we have a good fire going here. And uh, around the barrel, maybe you can see distortion in the image to get an idea of the heat that's coming off. Okay, take some measurements there as well. And this barrel. Okay. Oh, 
I'll just take one there. That's 160 there. It's pretty hot. There's that. There's 124. Let's have a look on top. This is where you could, in theory, cook on it. The whole thing was set down. And you had the chimney produce the draft more. It's 225, 212. So, uh, second thought is you could use this as a, a zona, zona heater. Uh, this fireplace could be outside, and the rest of the stuff could be inside, and then have a an exhaust system attached to this that would take the the gases out and you would you would never get any smoke in the house. I'm so impressed with this result that I'm gonna incorporate it into my kit stove, my masonry stove that I already made. Mm.